Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here in the DR. Um, the nanny's back today. And she decided to uh, wash the floors this morning, which is great, so I'm not doing it. I'm gonna make some curry chicken later. Uh, I have to go for my PCR test around 2.33. And um, I was sitting out here and I could smell cat doo-doo. And I thought, oh, where is this coming from? And then I looked in the litter box and the cat's not using it. It's been using these two planters. So I cleaned them out and I went around trying to find little pebbles, but this guy's ripping out some patio stuff. So I went over and took what I could. Ah, it's not perfect, but it'll stop the cat from going in there. He thought this was his new litter box. So I did both of them. Um, at least that'll stop him from going in there. He just jumped in and then looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> and thought, oh crap, I can't go there now. Yeah, no, you can't. So all good, that, that problem's resolved. Um, so I'll fix that. I did it to all of them over here too. I mean, it's not perfect fixed, but it does stop the cat from going in, right? I need to find a couple little pieces of string so I can tie this up here. He's on this obsession of um, picking up... Um, beetles digging them up from the ground and i don't care if he does that but doing uh the going to the bathroom and the plants that's that that definitely was a problem but it's all fixed it's gonna rain um the next two days after that's gonna be nice it's very black skies over here but it is what it is um Rhea left me her car today so i'm gonna run out for a little bit here Meet a girlfriend for coffee, I think, at uh, Dahlia's in Los Corrales. And if there's some sun this afternoon, I'll go catch half an hour or something. And then I have two days after that, and then I'm gone. So I'm going to start packing this morning, clean my bedroom up, and pack away the clothes that I know I'm not going to wear. Possibly going for dinner on Friday now with Chad and... Um, We'll see if I'm doing that. A friend of ours opened a restaurant, so it's Thai Indian, I guess, sort of like that. But I wouldn't mind trying it. We'll see what happens. Uh, the sun's trying to come out. I can feel it on my eyes right now, so it's definitely coming out. But it's supposed to rain this afternoon. The next two days are nice, so I'm gonna go hang at the pool the next two days. I have nothing else to do. Um, so that's about it. And uh, get this over with. So they announced that after the 28th, um, you don't need a PCR test anymore. Isn't that just lovely? So I'm throwing away $100 for nothing. And everyone thinks it's the Dominican government making the money. No, it's the Canadian government making this money. They're the one that wants the test, right? This is the joys of traveling. And then they're in, what, eight, nine days from now. You don't need it anymore. But until then, you still need to pay them, so. Money grab, money grab, money grab. I can see a, a rapid test, but a PCR test? Nah, I don't get it. But anyways, I'm going to go pay this 90 some dollars to go get this test done. For nothing. It's all good. There's this cute little Mexican restaurant. And it's very cute. It's makeshift because, really, it's only going to be there a short time because they're building a condo behind it. So they probably just lease the land for a little bit. But it is really cute. I don't know how the food is. It's not open until the night time. But if you see right through here, there's major construction going on behind it. So that kind of sucks, right? So it won't be here long. So as much as there's growth here, some things are closing. I love how they park here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here at Dahlia's. It's 1.15. I'm going for my test at 2.30. Uh, there's one up the street here. It says $65 PCR test, 10 hours. But I think I'm going to stick with the Central Medical. I know it's more money, but I think I'm better off that way. So here's my little local cafe that I love to come to. I showed it the other day. I've been coming here for many, many years. And this is still here, which I'm happy to see. So I'm here now. going to grab a little table. Possibly... She won't want to sit in the sun, so I guess I'll grab it over here. 
And she just texted me. She's almost here. She's by the Malia. Hola, Mar. I'm in cappuccino and americano. And sana uh, sana, por favor. And dos, por favor. Gracias. You put on your shades. I don't care. I look like shit today. Hey, okay, we're at Dahlia's here. I'm here with my little girlfriend, Maria. She's going off to Columbia next week. Yeah, it's all good. There you go. Having a quick coffee and then going for my PCR test. See you on the rebound. So I met my little girlfriend. Um, she used to work with me. And when I first met her, I was really tough on her, but she needed it. And she just said to me that I really helped her a lot. She was going through some stuff and, and I told her, you know, you need to get your act together. And she, was, she said I meant a lot to her and that I taught her a lot of life lessons and she'll never forget me. She's a little Colombian girl that lives in the Dominican Republic. She has a little girl. She's doing really well, though. She's doing really, really, really well. She's um, in sales, and um, she's with a new company that she picked up through the pandemic, and she's killing it. So she just got a new account uh, with UBC, which is I'm really happy to hear that. And it was just nice to catch up. We only had like 40 minutes, but it's okay. I'm on my way to go get my test now. Hopefully, this is not a long process because uh, things here, sorry for the road, it's pretty bumpy, but, um, okay. I'm here to get my PCR test. You scan your phone into that there to get your results. And this girl did my paperwork without a mask on. Okay, I just jumped off the highway and it's a dirt road and I'm going over to the back way into Ria's now. That was a little bit of a wait to get that done. But I got it done, I'm all finished. So I'm going home to cook and make some curry chicken, plantain, avocado. And that's going to be it for my day, I guess. Tomorrow I am sun tanning and Friday I am sun tanning and then I'm out of here. So, a little different process here, but it's over with. So, the road's rough, but here I am, I'm at her date, so all good. A lot of growth going on over here. Building a condo. Roads are rough, rough. But I'm in the gate now. I'm going to the second gate to get into her residence. <clears throat> A lot of security in the Dominican Republic, which is one good thing. So you never have to worry about that. But I'm here now. So I'm going to turn in. Talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Making a big thing of curry chicken. A big pot. <clears throat> potatoes and sweet potatoes. I'm gonna transfer it all into this pot, sauteing some onions and garlic and ginger. Sorry, onions, garlic, and ginger. And really gonna make the rice for me. And I'll do some plantain and avocado. And here's Miss Jade. What I painted last night. Yeah. Oh, and Jay did this painting last night, a queen bee and a ladybug or ladybird. So this I have to check the food. So sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Don't want it to burn. Sorry, I have to do this, Jay. Big one for everybody. 
And that's about it. Tomorrow I'm going to the pool for an hour and chilling the rest of the day and Friday the same thing. All good. Enjoy your vacation, my love. Water delivery. Gracias. Okay, we just had water delivery. Well, whatever, it's done. Okay, I'm gonna make some plantain. Jane loves this. She loves her plantain. I'm gonna fry it up. Okay, here's Jade. Oh, there's her thumbs up. What do people need to do, Jade? Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. There you go, I don't even have to tell her. And Jade, when someone tells you you're beautiful, what do you tell them? Because I look just like my Auntie Brooke. There you go. So, tell me that child's not trained. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm gonna fry this up and I'm gonna cut up some avocado too. This is one thing that's cheap here, this plant because it grows everywhere. So it doesn't cost a lot of money to eat this. And it's good. Um, if you, they make testonies with it, with green ones, and they cook it, it's twice fried. And then they smash it and fry it again. And it's, they eat it like french fries here. But. They prefer it more than french fries, actually. I even think the kids do. So it's just, they're, they're french fries. That's all it is. All good. Avocado now. Oh, it's maybe not as ripe as it should be. Oh, that's fine. They have the best avocados here, and they're so big. So it's really nice. We should plant the seed and grow our own. Maybe I'll go plant it outside. Okay. The nanny's on the phone. Jade's on her iPad. A lot of distractions going on in this house. I'm sorry. I'll close. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, the chicken's done. Rice is done. Plantain is just cooking. Avocados cut up. We're ready to go. Bon appetit. We're all ready to eat. Ria's uh, out buying uh, Carl. Jade, Jade, can you put your iPad down? And I've asked you that two times, right? This is what we're having for dinner. Bon appetit. He won't leave me alone for some reason today. Anyways, it's still a kitten. It's not a big cat. It just thinks it is. Yeah. There's my kitty. I'm gonna close. I'm very full. We ate too much. I ate half of what I served myself. Couldn't finish. Oh, you're getting a big shot of the kitty. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Talk to you later. Love from the DR.